hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here you are invited here to get to know us and you are welcome here so <laughs> feel free and feel at home join the family this is a family and uh, join us and get to know who we are and we are never age tv so if you have not subscribed please subscribe and uh, be one of us and for the returning ones those that, are, those that have always come back those that have walked the journey with us and keep checking on us i want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you for always coming back to check on us and here we are I don't take you for granted guys that you keep coming back and I appreciate you so so much the other day my voice was not very you know I was not very loud and I was just wondering why 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 my voice is not very very loud so I hope you are gonna hear me today and you're hearing me now uh, am I loud enough <laughs> Welcome to this channel guys. This is Never Age TV. And this is a channel where we love people. Where we talk positively about people. Where we analyze issues and how where we call it as it is. Because it is what it is. We just call it as it is. And uh, yes. Thank you for checking on us. Now straight to the point because I don't want this video to be very long. Um there was a wedding and everybody attended that wedding in Nyabohansei. Hey, Vidijona marries the American wife. <laughs> the American wife and guys, I was watching that wedding and I said, wow, 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 wow. When are we hearing the announcement about Marwa's and Roshio's wedding? Because uh, they attended. They attended Marwa and Roshio attended that wedding and it was nice it was very nice guys it was very nice they call it traditional but to me it was white wedding she was wearing a white gown so it was white wedding <laughs> the first traditional the first white wedding in the village <laughs> yes no one has done a wedding there and uh, you know it was the first one VD Jonah congratulations you didn't fear to show us your home, your village, your, you know, your people. And yes, you married this girl that you love so much. And uh, what interested me is the way Vidijona carried the girl in his arms all the way to the reception area. In his arms, lifting her up, carrying her. Oh my God. Which girl would not love that? everybody would love that guys every woman would like to be carried up high up to the dais <laughs> and this is when you get to know whether somebody loves you or not and we so love here we saw it it was such a nice wedding there was also the part of the dancing and guys wow you should have seen marwa and Roshio dance and it was beautiful guys wow it was very very beautiful so we enjoyed that wedding and uh, it was fun. Every YouTuber was there. By the way, it was a wedding of all the YouTubers. <laughs> all the YouTubers in the village were there. And uh, they enjoyed the wedding. There was a lot of food. You saw the way chicken was. Everybody was eating from in there. When Marwa and Roshi arrived, food was just on the table and everybody was serving food, 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 food. Wow. It was such a nice, nice, nice wedding. And this is a, a good example, even to the YouTubers in uh, Nyabohanse, not even YouTubers, the young people. Get married, why not? Get married and uh, get to start your lives. It was very interesting. You know, our niche is, uh, as I usually say, our niche is Nyabohanse. Our niche is Marwa and Roshio and family, the Kograts family. Our niche is the Nyabohazians. Nyabohazians. That's why we wake up to go there. Because this is where we find other YouTubers and this is where we get to analyze things and get to see how the world is moving. The world spins from Nyabohanse, <laughs> the African village of substance. That is where our world spins from because that is where we wake up to go and check on them and how they are doing and how they are faring. 
So this particular wedding caught our eyes. Yes, and we had to watch and see how it was going. It was very interesting. Nasto, Nasto was there and recorded the whole video, the whole wedding video, and it was nice. Why, why lie? It was such a nice wedding. And who would have thought that Vitijona would have married uh, his uh, uh, African uh, girlfriend, uh, I mean uh, American girlfriend? Who would have thought? So everything is possible to them that believe. You know, there was a time I thought Vitijona is talking too much and showing too much love, too much kissing, you know. And I, 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 there was a time I, I looked at Vidijona and I thought he was exaggerating uh, and, and talking too much about his, his, his um, American wife. And I was like, ah, but we already know that this, this wife is from America. We already know. So I was thinking, hey, why is he going too far? But now then uh, we have seen the results. We have seen the fruits. We have seen what it has yielded, a wedding. So yes, now we have no doubt. It was a wedding and Vidijona has gotten himself an American wife. So guys, Nasto and company. <laughs> oh my God, we are waiting for your wedding. So, so we are also waiting for the wedding from Roshio and Mr. and Mrs. Roshio. We are waiting for your wedding. <laughs> Maro and family, we are waiting for your wedding. That is uh, the Roshios, the Marwas. We are waiting for your wedding and we want to see it come. Because we love you people and we want you to start a family. We want you to be a family very, very soon. Yes, you may say you are family. Marwa these days addresses Roshio as my wife. So we are not doubting, but we are saying, yes, let's see this wedding take place. And it's going to be very, very interesting. So uh, another thing that I, I realized has happened in Yabohanse is that... My Yugno's wife is back. <laughs> See the way I'm laughing. Yes, whom am I laughing to or at? <laughs> I'm laughing because of the fact that our long lost wife has come back to my Yugno. And there are those that showed hate and described this and showed us how much they disliked my Yugno's wife. You know, you know yourselves how much you disliked her. But now here she is back. Where do you come in? Tell us, where do you come in? So my Yugno's wife is back and uh, I, I can imagine how happy my Yugno is because my Yugno has always confessed his love for his wife. And it is always sometimes good for someone to step out so that you get to know the value of the person you take for granted. I don't want to say my Yugno has been taking his wife for granted, but we could see that he was not the same again when the wife is not there or was not there. So, that wife that you take for granted, when they will not be there, when she will not be there, is when you know how important they are. So, my Yugno's uh, wife is back, and I'm very happy for him. And now, <laughs> we are waiting to see what, what, what the YouTubers will say, because them that talked will be visiting my Yugno. You know, they'll be visiting my Yugno at the site. It's no longer a site, it is a home now where my Yuguno lives with his wife and I wonder how they are going to behave towards her because they surely spoke and showed us that they did not like my Yuguno's wife. I don't know what, who they wanted. And when somebody doesn't want you a choice and you are, you, is, you are just a friend of theirs, where do you come in? It is you who made that choice. By the way, some of us have looked at you as also and have seen, oh, is this what he chose or is this what she chose? And we never comment. So when you go talking in a way that you, you dislike somebody's wife, it is not fair. So I'm very happy for my Yugno that the wife has come back. And I wish them a long, long, long life, love life together. Yeah, that's all that I wish for them. <laughs> oh my God. So Nyabuhanse, Nyabuhanse, Nyabuhanse. Dimwango arrived in Africa. But you know what? She was hosted in a TV, in a radio station, a very popular radio station in Kenya. And she was all praises about his brother Marwa, whom she did not even bring a t-shirt or any gift for, for, from Jamaica. She was all praises, but the first thing I noticed is that Dimwango still appreciates his brother 
uh, her brother and uh, talks her good about him because she says that he is the one who showed her initiated her YouTube blessings if we should call them that she's the one who bought her even the first uh, laptop the first camera and she even told us how she struggled even with the laptop because she didn't even know how to upload videos but his brother her brother was always there to help and fad her and I want to say something when you have somebody <clears throat> Be it to your brother or be it to your relative or be it to your spouse or be it to your friend who is who, is, who agrees to fund you to fund you to start up something like the youtube channel that dimwago started and has been now to over 40 countries when somebody agrees to fund you eh, this 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 person is important to you and should be taken very 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 importantly if i should say because most of us are clawing down here because we don't have any help. Most of us are struggling to even know how to, 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 to uh, record a video or to film. Most of us suffer to even upload. Most of us do not even have the advice on how to hold the camera to all against the sun and, what the, be what, uh, and, and the best time to record. We don't even know. Because some of these things are secrets that you don't want to tell everybody. Why you don't want to tell everybody is because this is how you make your own money and you don't want this market to flood. So what you do is you keep your secrets next to your chest, very close to your chest, and you don't allow anybody to know them. So uh, when you have somebody like Marwa, who is your brother, who shows you how to record, how to film, how to upload, and even buys you the gadgets that are required, hey... Let me tell you, you are lucky. Dimwago, I want to tell you, you are lucky. You may not know, but you are very, very lucky. This is because the push you got is not a push that you can just underestimate. Had it not been for him, maybe you'd still be in YouTube, but you'd not be where you are. Most of the times you have heard that you have been stuck out there in airports and everywhere. And the next person you call is who? Your brother Marwa. Because you know that this person has traveled. This person can assist you. This person knows everything about the situation out there. So you call him knowing that I'm going to get help. And the person is willing to help you because he's your brother. I want to tell you something. Never underestimate that. That this is a blessing for you to have your brother Marwa. So whether your brother has been to Jamaica a hundred times and you are buying gifts for others, I would say... Please remember to buy him a handkerchief, even if it is a handkerchief. Buy it for him because he's very, very important to you. Very, very, very important. So telling us here that you did not buy any gift for Marwa because he has been to Jamaica twice, it did not hold any water to me because I don't know why you wouldn't buy a gift for somebody who has been of so much help to you. This is just an appreciation gift something to just appreciate him it's not that he doesn't have the t-shirts he may have a hundred of them but you appreciate your brother because of where he has he has brought you from and still walking with you this journey and we had him complain that you are taking too long without coming when he had a party he was wondering when are you coming so that you can grace his party he waited for a whole one month and you never showed up and he could at last, finally he spoke and said, oh no, this is now too much. My sister, I've been there for you, you should be here for me. This is now three much, not even too much. That is how he put it. It is because he loves you. And when somebody loves you and somebody has walked with you the, the, the journey, somebody even showed you how to do the thing that you do to do a living. You are doing a living that is very successful out of your brother's ideas. When somebody shows you how to do life and you hear that he has a need, you had better just pay that air ticket and come and be with them. So, you not being there for Marwa and even arriving in Nairobi and it's like not going to the village because your brother, your, your family has to come down to you in the city 
to receive a very nice gift that I congrat you, congratulate, congrat <laughs> congratulate you for. <laughs> I was about to say congrats, mom. That I congratulate you for. That, gi that gift that you bought for your mom, the BMW car, is a very, very, very good gesture. And it's a very, very good gift. And we respect you for that. You did a very nice thing. Dimwango, you did a very nice thing. I love when ladies appreciate their moms because not only ladies, even sons, when they appreciate their moms because you came from them. And when you give them the best of your best, it adds unto the blessings that God is going to bestow upon you. So you are expecting get, uh, blessings from God and you are going to receive them because of what you did. But now, did I see Marwa in the city? No, I didn't see him. Yet I have seen Marwa attend a wedding with Roshio. And I know it is just it would just have taken a flight to the city for Marwa and Roshio to come and also grace the car occasion. The car gifting occasion. It would just have taken a, a flight. They would have just gone to Migori and taken a flight to the city of Nairobi. And they would have been there with other members of family appreciating you for buying the mom whom Marwa loves so much a car. So, as a, as, a, as a person who knows how to analyze or who, are, who is able to analyze, I see like there is some bad blood between you and the brother and it should not be welcome, it should not be encouraged. These are just feelings, not even bad blood. These are just feelings because Marwa is a good person and you, Dimwango, you are a good person. These are just misunderstandings because of small things. Or is it that you don't appreciate Roshio? Why didn't you have bought even a, a gift for both of them? Yet you bought gifts for everybody. Is it that you felt like you cannot buy a gift for Roshio? Because when gifting Marwa, Roshio would be there. And you know, you would appear like, but you felt, no, I cannot gift that to you. Is it that you don't appreciate Marwa's choice for a wife? Or what? Do you love Roshio? Have I ever heard you speak about Roshio? And appreciate your brother for having married a white wife did i ever hear you go that direction and you know what you cannot be you know blamed for anything because these are matters of the heart you may feel like your brother did not make the proper choice and you have all the right to feel that way because you are human you cannot pretend so no one is gonna judge you but why didn't we see marwa at the car gifting ceremony that's what i'm asking and it would just have taken a fright to the city of Nairobi. <laughs> Are you in good times with your brother who assisted you so much to start over your life that you are enjoying today and making a lot of money? A lot of money. Are you in good terms with your brother? So guys, I I I have to I have to call it as it is. Call it as it is. These are issues of the family, and as I'm not here to judge anybody, guys. Right now, as I speak to you, I may not be having, I'm not be, I may not be in very good terms with my brothers or my sisters. And, oh, and this is normal. And it is, may not even be an issue. It may be just a misunderstanding. So is life. So when you are not in very good terms with your relative, there's nobody that can, can, charge, can judge you because this, these things happen in families. It happens in families. So whatever it is, I know you people are going to resolve and continue living well because you have and you have appreciated Marwa even in that interview at the uh, radio station you appreciated your brother so much and I also appreciate you for that because always remember where you came from anyone who assisted you through the a journey of life always remember them because these are the people that matter in your life so Dimango congratulations for appreciating your brother so much but are you going to the village to meet him because he didn't come to meet you. Are you going to go back to Jamaica without meeting your brother Marwa? Are you going to go back to Jamaica without meeting him? These are some of the questions that I'm asking myself because it's like Ma Dimwango will be off to Jamaica soon or is off already to Jamaica because she did not come to stay. I'm yet to find out how the car was driven to the village. I don't know if it is David Jr. who drove it to the village 
or is it in the village you have to watch congrats mom videos to see if the car is actually in Nyabohan say the BMW but all I want to say is that that gift is well appreciated by everybody who values parents I value congrats mom so much she's your mother and I also respect you so much for gifting your mom such a good gift you know when your parents bring you up they want the best for you so when you go out there and you are blessed and you are able to buy these nice things with that money that you have received this is a blessing and it should spill over to our parents so that they enjoy our sweat and uh, our sweat, their sweat their sweat yes bringing us up so i can never stop saying how much i appreciate dimwango but i want terms with marwa you know straightened up so that we get to see them together and we get to know that they love each other just the way they you know Mar hey guys let me tell you something have you ever seen a brother who loves a sister and speaks it out without any fear of contradiction marwa 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 loves the sister so much oh she talks good about the sister all the time i mean he talks good about the sister all the time all the time in his videos he talks good about the sister he talks about how how how, how upcoming he, she is and how far she's going he talks about her very positively he loves imagine maro had to segregate a room in his villa for the sister dimwango which i don't think sis the sister has gone to furnish or sent the money to furnish as yet i don't know even know whether she's gonna be you know spending there or staying there in that room that that she was gifted by the brother my brother builds a house and gifts me one of the best rooms in his house as a sister isn't that love where have you seen this happen guys let us call it as it is when a brother appreciates you that much i think you should appreciate them and even if you don't like the gift that they have given you because i don't know whether dimwango is gonna occupy that room if dimwango doesn't occupy that room in the villa she has issues with Roshu. That's all I can say. Because had Marwa been single, I'm sure she would have come to Africa and gone to spend her, 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 her nights in the villa. Because since that villa was complete, she has not even come to, to, the, to, to the village. She hasn't come to, uh, to Nyabohansi. She hasn't even come to see the, the, what the, uh, the brother has... I, I mean, to see it... I, I know she sees the villa j just the way I see it from Nairobi or from wherever I am because i see it in videos i'm sure she sees it also in videos but this is family you should, should go there i would be very proud entering my brother's home and house and villa and feeling that this is my brother's i would feel very good hugging him and congratulating him for the good work he has done building a nice villa in the village i would be there to congratulate him for choosing a white woman for a wife because this is, has been his desires, and everybody knows that, that Marwa has always wanted to marry a white woman. Now the white woman in the name of Roshio is there. I would be there to congratulate him and to hug him. Because this is my brother, and I'm happy whenever he's happy. I'm happy whenever he's happy, yes. Whatever he likes, I appreciate that, and I would be there to support him. So I don't see why Dimwango doesn't see all this. And especially remembering where she came from. I don't see why she doesn't see this. I'm fighting for the happiness and joy of Marwa because I like Marwa so much. That Marwa, the person who has liked the sister so much, should also be, you know, given the best. The best appreciation where, where he deserves it. <laughs> and especially from the sister that she, he loves so much. So I hope Dimago is going to consider this and improve. And uh, go and meet the brother maybe and uh, appreciate the brother because that is the way it should be that's the way it should be and that's how human beings live that is how families are I don't know whether congrats mom tries because as a parent sometimes you can try to tell your children but they ignore I don't know whether she tries to tell to tell uh, Dimwango the things she should do because some of these things we are advised by our parents and we as parents also advise our sons and daughters that this is the proper thing to do so guys 
this video was not about uh, the Mongo, it was about Nyabo Hansa and everybody there, the wedding, the her coming to, 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 to Kenya, her buying the vehicle to, for mom, and yes, that's the way it is. It is the way it is. So guys, did you remember to subscribe to this channel? If you didn't, please, you are welcome if you will or if you want to subscribe to this channel and uh, support 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 watch the videos up to the end and guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye